Now, there's new hope for cancer patients tonight as the health secretary has signed a deal to speed up research into treatments. The agreement with pharmaceutical giant BioNTech means patients in England will get early access to trials exploring personalised therapies. Our reporter Leila Hayes joins us in the studio. Leila, good to talk to you. It, it sounds encouraging, doesn't it? And it's, it's all linked to the COVID pandemic. So tell us a bit more about it. Well, during the pandemic, scientists and doctors from all over the world worked together to develop COVID vaccines much faster than normal, and they were also approved faster than normal. Now they want to do the same to help cancer patients. Now, we all remember uh, when Margaret Keenan became the first person in the world to receive the COVID vaccine. That was, of course, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Uh, and Britain has now become the first country in the world to sign up to a partnership with the German company BioNTech, which it's hoped will bring us closer to a cancer vaccine. Experts say it will use the same mRNA technology as the COVID vaccine, right. but will work in a different way. This is this is not about preventing cancer. This is about someone has been someone has got a cancer. Um, they are receiving treatment for it, and what we're doing is we're looking at what that cancer looks like, looking at what the molecules on its surface look like, and seeing if there are any of those that we can use and we can take and we can show them to the immune system it's a bit like a photo fit for catching a criminal really we're showing the cancer we're showing the immune cells this is what that cancer looks like and you should go after it and attack it and cancer vaccines is a great way of trying to do that so Leila such positive news for cancer patients when could trials start well, it's hoped the trials could start as early as September this year. There will be a development hub in Cambridge and they're hoping to deliver personalised treatments to 10,000 patients by the year 2030. Still a long way to go on this, but it has the potential to transform outcomes for cancer patients. An absolute positive step forward. Leila, thank you.